Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And I am here today with a grocery haul from Winco. I spent $60.70. Now, if you're not familiar with Winco, it's a store that I absolutely love. It's kind of part grocery store, part Aldi, and part like a Sam's Club, if you will. And the reason I say that it's part Aldi is because they have a lot of store brand items, um, kind of like Aldi. And then um, as far as, uh, I called it a Sam's because they sell bulk items and large items. And then the grocery part of it is they also have a lot of name brand groceries as well, unlike an Aldi or a Trader Joe's. So let me jump in and show you what I picked up. So I grabbed some Doritos and some Sun Chips, and then I saw these pork rinds. I've never seen them before, and normally I'm not a big pork rind person, but these sounded really good to me. These are Korean kimchi barbecue flavored pork rinds, and sounds really good, so I wanted to give it a try. And then I was all out of chicken broth, so I grabbed two boxes of the Winco brand chicken broth. And of course, as you would probably imagine, their store items are a lot cheaper than the name brand. I think these were $1.17 a box, I think. Then, because I'm at home with Harrison during the day, I grabbed um, this box of Red Baron deep dish individual pizzas. You get two pizzas and they are supreme pizzas. I grabbed some hot dog buns. I think these were 88 cents because Howard is going to grill some sausages for us pretty soon. And then you guys know how much I love my sparkling juices. So this is a flavor that I have not seen before. Their sparkling juices, especially the Martinelli's, is a lot cheaper than you would find in the grocery store or at Walmart. This bottle was the most expensive bottle of Martinelli's and it was $2.77. They had some other Martinelli's that were $2.18, which is a steal, um, but I just got this one. And it, the sparkling blush is raspberry and apple juice um, mixed. And then I needed a box of beef flavored rice mix because I have a recipe that I am going to be doing and I, and I actually don't have a box of rice, surprisingly. And then um, I needed some au juice. It was pretty cheap. I think this was 27 cents or 47 cents a packet. And I use au juice for my Mississippi pot roast and I got two envelopes. Then, let me jump over here, Howard Loves Lemonade. They're Simply Lemonade, this huge container. It's pretty cheap, way cheaper than it is in um, Walmart or the grocery store. And I think it was like $4 for the bottle, for something. And then I had never seen um, Blueberry Cream Cheese Bread. Their brand, again, I think it was like a dollar, less than a dollar fifty, I think. But um, sounded really good to me, so I grabbed that and then I grabbed their Greek yogurt, Winco Greek yogurt, and it was next to the Chobani Greek yogurt, so I'm assuming it's a knockoff for Chobani. So I got the key lime, and then I also got some plain yogurt. I got plain because I have a recipe that calls for plain yogurt, so I just grabbed some. Then, let me jump over here. I got some things to put in my freezer. I got some General Tso's chicken, and we've had this before, but it's been a really long time. It's a little glare on it. And so this is what the packaging looks like. I really like it a lot. Um, it is. It has a tempura coated boneless chicken with a General Tso's uh, sauce packet, and this was a little over five dollars. And then I also got the barbecue chicken teriyaki, and I really like that too. And these are both, if I forgot to mention, just quick skillet meals. So pick that up. Let me scoot over a little bit. Um, this Grillmates Montreal Steak Smoked Sausage. I've never seen this before. It's made with McCormick Spices and um, it was on sale for $1.88. And then we also picked up this Eckridge Farm, well actually Eckridge Hot Links. Now I've tried another brand of Hot Links, not Eckridge, but these were on sale for two, I think $2.38. So I decided to try a pack. So what I'm planning to do with these uh, sausages and these skillet meals is to, of course, stick them in my deep freezer. So um, if you're not aware, um, I'm actually in the middle of a pantry and freezer challenge, but I just needed some quick meals like this uh, to have on hand just in case I don't feel like cooking. But we are 
diligently working our way through our freezer and pantry trying to use up what we already have. So also, I have some uh, dessert mixes in my pantry and they call for um, like graham cracker crust. And so I saw these, um, I don't know if you guys have seen these in your area, uh, by Diamond, they have pecan pie crust and they also have, I think, walnut, but I'm a pecan girl. So I grabbed two of these pie shells and they were $2.98 each. I'm also a big sweet tea drinker too. I love sweet tea. I had a baby in December, so I'd given up caffeine during my whole pregnancy, and now that I can have it again, I'm so excited. So um, this is a six pack of the Pure Leaf Extra Sweet Sweet Tea. Um, these are, I'm trying to get 16.9 ounce bottles, and these were, I think they were 418, which is a really good deal. And then I picked up a chopped um, bacon Caesar salad kit. And then I also grabbed some cabbage that I need for a recipe. And I also needed some russet potatoes for that same recipe and the onions. It's for a cabbage sausage soup that I make that I really like a lot. So this is it. This is everything that I picked up on my haul. Um, I try not to go too crazy because like I said, we are working on our freezer and pantry challenge, but I did need just a few things. So this is it, a total of $60.70 that I spent. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. And we'll see you guys next time.